Okay, so we're going to um, use intercepts to graph. There's one method of graphing that's a little bit different than plotting points to graph a line, because uh, we find specific points. Okay, so we're going to find the intercepts of the equation. So I'm going to find the x-intercept. So remember, x-intercept, let y equal 0. And then when I want to find the y-intercept, I let x equal 0. And what that's going to do is it's going to give us two points just right off the bat. Okay, so if I let y be 0, I get 0 equals negative 3x minus 4. So if I add the 4 to the other side, if I divide by negative 3, I get x equals negative 4 thirds. So I can graph that point. I know it's the x-intercept, so it's going to be right on the x-axis. Negative 4 thirds is going to be eh, about there. Keep it with me. About there. Okay. So negative 1 and a third, right? It's about there. Okay. Now, x-intercept, I'm going to let x equal 0. And that's just going to give me negative 4. So on the y-axis, I'm going to graph the y-intercept at negative 4 right there. Now you could draw the line. Um, when I'm using intercepts to graph a line, though, I always like to do one more point just to check, kind of like a checkpoint. So, because what if I did one of the other two wrong? You know, my whole graph would be off. So a checkpoint, um, for this one, I'm going to let x equal negative 1. And we'll see what happens. So I'm basically just going to plot a third point to make sure my other points are, you know, lining up like they're supposed to. Okay, so I get 3 minus 4, or y equals negative 1. So I get a third point that I'm going to use as a checkpoint just to make sure it's lining up. And it's right there. Yeah, that looks like it's in pretty good shape there. It looks like they're all lining up. Okay, so I draw the line as best I can. And when it says sketch the graph, that was drawing the line. 